Now, the coronavirus pandemic has wreaked havoc on many social and traditional practices. This is due to the restrictions placed on social gatherings in major parts of the world, including Ghana. As the ban on social gatherings like funerals still remains in force, Joy News' Beryl Ernestina Richter looks at the trend of funerals among the Ghana people. Family and friends mourn the loss of their loved one, Rosmond Makudowona. They will and burst into dirges as the remains of their loved one lies in state at the Cornelius Adumwadowona way in Osu. Some visibly shaken family members and friends are unable to hold back their tears as they fall past the body of the deceased. There are no comforting hugs or handshakes. As the people mourn, they are also mindful of contracting the virus. An elder of the family, Jonathan Norte Dowona explains, they decided to strictly abide by the restrictions on social gathering, even during the planning of the burial, and funeral of their deceased relative. It was decided at the pre-burial meeting on 28 April to abide by the president's directive. You only allowed them to briefly extend their condolences to the family. One of the main features according to Ga customs and traditions that precedes the burden of the corpse is Kochagbamo. This rite is very significant among the Ga people. Before the outbreak of coronavirus in Ghana, this ceremony was characterized by elaborate fanfare and extravagance. Here is Nomo Blafo III, Ga Blafo Wulomo of Asre. Currently, it's done in a way as if people are going to marriage or something. But during this period, you will find about two or three people just carrying this thing. Uh, to where they're supposed to take it or to the house where the Kojagbamo will be performed before the few people who just go and bat the cops, they will only go to the mortuary. Dennis Ni Ajay is one of the sons of the deceased. He strongly believes his late mother would be happy with the family's decision to organize a small gathering. I know and believe that she will be very happy. The Dawona family is not the only one to have taken the decision to bury their departed loved one in this COVID restrictions era. It's alive on Joy News today with me, Daniel Dazi. Up next is Business with Daryl Crow.